for simple ways to chart tennis matches, then this video is going to be perfect for you. I'm going to show you in the next three or four minutes a really simple way to chart lots of information using one method with pen and paper. Let's dig in. Pen, paper, not even going to draw any uh, courts. All I'm going to do is chart serve, the rally length, last shot, win loss. Now, my player at the far end is serving first, so I'm just going to put an asterisk there, and that will mean every time there's an asterisk, that's the serve. I'm just going to show you three or four points, then I'm going to fast forward the video, and then you'll see all the stats I can get at the end. We've got five games of this match here, so let's go. Okay, so we've got first serve, the rally length, I'm going to say that it was three shots long and it was a backhand and I'm going to put BA and that's backhand attack and she won the point. Then we go again. Okay, so it was another first serve, it was a six shot rally, forehand volley, and I'm going to put defense in there, and she lost the point. Very simple, second serve, two shot rally, last shot was serve. Uh, and she won the point. Very simple. First serve, one shot. Serve, I'm going to put serve attack. And she won. Seven shots, <laughs> seven shots, first serve, it was, the last shot was a forehand defence, and she lost the point. Nice one, first serve, one shot, ace, I've got a circle around for ace, and then one. So I'm going to carry on doing this, and you'll see how much information we can get at the end. So I've just done some basic stats here, we could go on and on, but uh, to save you time I will not. So we 10 out of 17 first serves in, out of those 10, 6.1. Uh, I also was interested in the phase, the phase of play when the last shot was hit. So A was attack, D was defense, and R was in a neutral or rally phase. Uh, so I'm interested always with players in what phase of play was the last shot hit in, and what was the sec uh, success rate. So for example, uh, there were 11 points where the last shot was hit in an attacking phase and 8 out of 11 were converted, so that's fine enough. The, what I would uh, be interested in is, there's too many for me, there's too many rally phases where she's losing, but also I would uh, look to have a, like a forcing error. So for example, if I say to you, at the end of a match you play 20 unforced errors, you're not going to be very happy. But if I then go into more detail and say 15 of them you were forcing the play and you made a mistake, then we know that over time we can convert the majority of those into uh, attacking effective shots. So you can see it's very simple. I could tally this up in seconds. Uh, and then at the end of it, sit down for 10 minutes and chop it all up and be able to feed back some real concrete information to the player. So, if you like this, share it with your tennis pals and uh, subscribe to the channel. 
I'm keen to get your input. I want to get, make sure that you tell me what it is you want to get. If there's anything specific you want me to chart uh, or a charting method, then uh, let me know and I'll keep on posting videos of all these different ways of charting. I think I might do mental skills next, but I need to get some good footage for that. Okay, till the next time, take care, bye bye.